Chan, welcome back to the channel, whichever you see today, and welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate Esper ranking, where I'm going to be getting to most recent and their official discography, song by song, give my thoughts and print to a list most favorite to least favorite, which you can find in the pinned comment section below, the story so far. Bit of a disclaimer with this one, a few disclaimers with this one actually. Uh, first off, big love to Matt Hawken, whole reason why this uh, series exists. I have checked this out before. I have checked this out before. It's not on YouTube yet. Again, when I say, guys, I have hundreds of videos not yet on YouTube on my early access on Patreon. I'm not just plugging my Patreon. That's a fact. I have hundreds of videos because I post so much uh, on YouTube a day, three to, three to four videos a day. I already feel like I post a lot. Um, so I, again, that's why I'm peppering in those early access ones. So if you see a video from me and I look super different and the camera looks like a potato, odds are I filmed it about 10 months ago, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, that's that's how, that, again, how many early access videos are, are there. So my first reaction to this is one of those. Um, and I probably look very different. And again, the camera is probably not looking as good as it does right now as well. So I'd be interested to look back at that. Other disclaimer to mention, I Christmas songs. Christmas songs are the hardest songs to rank, without a doubt. Uh, even if I was filming this in December, Christmas songs are the hardest songs to rank. Why? Because for me, I only want to listen to Christmas songs in December. Uh, and sometimes even like mid-December, right, I'm like, right, okay, now, we're, now I'm in the Christmas mood. Um, other than that, I do not want to listen to them. And I'm sure there's many people like that too. So doing these rankings... Like, obviously, I don't want to skip the Christmas songs because there's some beautiful Christmas songs, right? But, like, I will say, with Christmas songs, they are always going to be at a bit of a disadvantage for me. Because while there could be some incredible Christmas songs, and on this channel I've checked out some incredible Christmas songs, um, they, for me, only work one month of the year. All these other amazing songs work not only... All the other all the other months of the year, but in December too. Um, so I, it's just the case. Like Christmas songs are always going to be a bit of a disadvantage. I still try to rank them as fairly as possible, but yeah, just need to say a disclaimer. Uh, I've not checked this out since I checked it out for the first time. This is Jingle Bell Rock, and some yeah, it's it's the proper covers of song.
Uh, do you know what's interesting with that? Like, there's so many, like, versions of these. Because, of course, these Christmas songs, guys, these really famous, like, Western Christmas songs are so, obviously for me, being a part of Western culture, so famous, so novel to Christmas. So that any time you hear a modern cover, uh, it's always, like, because it's so ingrained, like, in, in with nostalgia, I find that Christmas is. You know, Christmas is filled with nostalgia, I think, because... The, I think for kids more than anything else, Christmas. Cool, don't get me on Christmas is, Christmas can be a great time for any age, but you know I think we all get taken back to being kids and you know listening to these songs and stuff. What when, when what I do at least when I hear these songs. So when you hear a modern beat, um, or a modern twist on these kind of like classic songs, it could be a bit disorientating for me. Um, you know when I've when I've heard like other groups in Western cult Western culture kind of cover these songs and stuff like that. However, that didn't happen here because it all fit. It all fit. They somehow turned it into an R&B song, which was completely Esper with brilliant vocals. And again, a rap which worked. Like, it felt Christmassy. At the same time, it was like, mm, there's a like, yeah, you had that feeling of like, there's a nice beat to this at the same time. So this is a weird one to rank, not only because it's a Christmas song, it's a famous Christmas song, but a, but a really cool twist and cover on it. This is, this is a, this is a t just to say, this is a tough one. To s I, I enjoyed it a lot, guys. Let's just say that, and I thought it was a great twist and cover, but it's Jingle Bell Rock at the same time in an Esper ranking. So, it's, it, you know, we'll see, we'll see where it goes. I'll start from bottom to top, see where it goes. I'd put above Hot Air Balloon, uh, Iconic, YOLO, Life's Too Short, yeah, again, I really enjoyed it guys, I'm going to put it above Life's Too Short, below Forever, so that's where Jingle Bell Rock goes for me, again, it's not only weird to rank a Christmas song, but a Christmas song you've heard multiple times in your life covered, um, and and twisted in a very interesting way that was a, again strange to rank one of the strangest rankings to do, to do that was for me but they nailed it though, i'll say that they nailed it and i'd love to hear that at christmas actually that's that's one of the christmas songs i definitely have on a playlist um so yeah weird to rank that one weird weird to rank that one so uh so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did so that can be a great idea once you want esper on the channel let me know where jingle bell rock Again, crazy to say, uh, Esper's twist on it goes for you. Um, please subscribe because plenty of Esper on the channel already in the Esper Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. So hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.